Hey guys, this is Rio. Um, what I'm going to do for you today is do a little browser uh, speed test between the HTC Resound and the iPhone 4. I do not have an iPhone 4S, so I'm not able to go ahead and show you the uh, comparisons uh, between the Resound and the 4S. But I think you'll be pretty, um, pretty blown away by the results here uh, regardless. So let's go ahead. Um, I'm on TheVerge.com right now, one of my favorite uh, tech web blogs. Um, I'm going to go ahead and launch a couple links here just so you guys can go ahead and get an idea of, um, of the browser speed. Go ahead and try to tap on these at the exact same time. By the way, these are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. Let's go ahead and see. So it looks like uh, The Verge loaded up a little bit quicker on the iPhone 4. That's pretty surprising as um, the processor that is on the um, HTC Resound is a tad bit quicker being a 1.2 uh, gigahertz processor. Um, so that's a little bit odd to me that it actually loads uh, quicker. Let's go ahead and go back. And I'll, I'll open up a couple different links for you guys just so you can see uh, the different performance between the two. As you can see here, the iPhone 4 also uh, reloaded the page quicker um, going back the previous page. Now, one thing I want to point out is you see here at the top um, you have some animation going on. That's because the HTC Resound actually runs Flash. Um, so that may or may not have much to do with uh, the browser speed uh, pulling up web pages because it is loading some Flash content so it very well might affect it but not quite sure. Um, I did some tests turning it off and I didn't see any any real difference. So what I'm going to do, um, I'm going to go ahead and go into bookmarks here. I'm going to load another one of my favorite sites here. We're going to load Engadget. Do this at the same time. And we got content showing up on the Resound first. iPhone 4 catching up. And actually, it looks like they finished pretty much uh, together on that one. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you some of, the, some of the scrolling on these guys here. Now, we're all pretty familiar with the scrolling on the iPhone. Um, it's really, really smooth. As you can see here on the Resound, it's okay. It is a little bit jerky. Not quite as fluid. It is faster, though. Um, if I want to hit to the bottom of the page here, it only takes a couple swipes and I'm, I'm there. Same thing going to the top. Um, here's the iPhone. Much, much more smooth, but definitely not as quick. Although there is a shortcut with the, uh, with the iPhone to get back up to the top. If you push this little status bar um, where the time and your carrier is, it'll actually jump you right back to the very top of your page. All right, so the next thing I want to point out is um, how fast it can, you know, either phone can load a YouTube video. Um, as you can see, I have um, my videos page loaded up here on YouTube. Um, now, I want to point up, out something else to you. As you can see, the screen size is quite large on the uh, on the Resound here. The page it goes, you know, way underneath where the iPhone stops, and then way above where the iPhone starts. It's it's pretty neat how how big the screen is. I'm going to go ahead and start the same video. This is actually the video I did on the Resound uh, review completely. So let's go ahead and launch these and see what happens. Going to push play. So, they load pretty much exactly the same. Um, on, on either phone. It looks like it launched almost simultaneously. So it, it, as far as launching a YouTube uh, video, they launch you know at similar speeds. However, I will say the high quality version is uh, looks a little bit better on the iPhone, which is a little odd to me since the Resound has a higher uh, pixel per inch count. Uh, you would think that the Resound would actually uh, be a little bit clearer. 
Um, maybe it's the fact that it's a larger screen and um, you know the video is a little bit further stretched out. I'm not quite sure, but uh, anyway, it just looks a little bit better on the iPhone. However, it is a very enjoyable experience on the Resound because of that large screen. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. I got some more videos coming out. Um, maybe a few more things about the Resound. And then um, I do have a video that I want to uh, do on the HP touchpad. I actually got one in that uh, whole HP Fire Cell thing um, last week. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post a little review on that. Um, I'm sure you guys have seen them. I'll just give you my take on it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys.